The topic is autoimmune diseases. Homeopathic perspective. Dr. Arya, Arya sir has spoken very well and has explained us that it is not by the name of the disease, it is not by the name of the pathology, it is not by the name of the myism we treat the patient, but it is the patient who is suffering. So from the suffering of the patient, we treat the suffering of the patient. And if we focus there, but at the same time, we also have a guidelines from aphorism number three, that we have to have knowledge of disease. And that knowledge of disease, that is in every individual case. It is not that a particular remedy for a particular kind of a conditions, but for that particular patient, if I can find out a homeopathic specific remedy, then I am through. This is my little attempt to present the idea of autoimmune disease in front of you, whereby I want to focus a small issue on which we have slept since not ages, but since so many years, we have not turned our eyes and ears to that. We always speak about our three basic fundamental myasms, Sora, Psychosis, Syphilis, Alan added tubercular myosin is due respect to him. But moreover, there is something further which Dr. Hanuman said that I have seen hundreds of cases and then I have derived and I am alerting you. I am giving you a clue that if you don't deal with this, your cases will never be true. And what is it? So here, I wish to add autoimmunity along with autoimmune disease. I hope that I can respect the time which is given to me. I respect the topic, I respect you, I respect the chairman, co-chairman and respect to me, whatever I want to deliver. I hope I can do, there is a lot of things to speak, but let us do fast. Autoimmune disease, why I pay attention to this? Because these are supposed to be precursor of autoimmune disease. Autoimmunity is a precursor of autoimmune disease. Why so? There is no scientific correlationship between autoimmunity and autoimmune diseases. But if you proceed with its occurrence, what is autoimmunity is capacity to discriminate self from non-self that is altered. And in today's life, how the things are happening if we see not only something which is happening within but without also. How far and how many ways we are with our own people. Maximum we fight with our own rather than other. And so internal and external, the environment, how it affects our health, then we proceed and see further. Usually autoimmunity is found in normal individuals and in older age group. Why do scientists say that it is found in the normal? Normal because they are not suffering clinically. There is no proof of their pathology, there are no signs, symptoms, so this imperceptible state is, they say, it is normal. It is noted after infection, trauma and stress, and you know that infections are rampant, stresses are enough for us to take, trauma is now and then. Autoimmunity is self-limiting state or it may persist. There may be pathology, there may not be pathology. And even if there is an organ pathology, it is difficult to determine whether the damage is mediated by auto-reactivity or not. Thus, the presence of self-reactivity may be either the cause or a consequence 
of an ongoing pathologic process. I want you to bear this in mind. Please pay attention to this, that how pathology is happening in autoimmunity or autoimmune diseases is this see further. Due to such ambiguity and lack of obvious expressions, state of autoimmunity is usually left untreated considering it as a normal. But the fact is, with autoimmunity, there are a lot of changes taking place in our physiology. And these cells and T cells, their functions are altered. I will not go into the detail of the physiology, but if the state of the phys physiology is altered, it is not the state of the normal. And there is an altered state, is a, there is a disturbed homeostasis, imbalance, altered state of health, that is why that requires to be restored. So autoimmunity from other science, other therapeutic science, they are not paying attention because they have nothing to pay attention to. There is nothing material they can find out as the symptoms. There is nothing they find out as the pathology. There is nothing as a specific uh, process they can find out. There are so many. Uh, there are so many hypotheses, there are so many theories, there are so many things going on to explore it. So that is why there is nothing for them, but in homeopathy, yes, autoimmunity, we have a lot of things because we understand disease, not at ease, differently. It is not that matter that matters to us. It is the dynamicity that is, that is with us. What is to be treated in a state of autoimmunity? The state appears normal at the level of the structure, form and function. There is nothing accessible, nothing perceptible, there is nothing that is changed. There is absence of symptoms, so we don't know what to do even as a homeopath. But as a homeopath, we always take an analysis, we understand the evolution of the suffering of the patient. We don't restrict only to that pathology and the name of the disease. Since when the patient has started becoming sick, that we focus on. And if that is so, our vision goes deeper down to the level of predisposition. It does not restrict only to the present pathology which is available or the investigations which are seen under microscopes or biochemical tests. So, which are cases? Now if you see, there are so many cases which are coming to your practice and my practice. And we are treating as a routine infectious cases or routine sinusitis or routine uh, upper respiratory infections. But we don't know when such infections will play a trick, that will play a mischief and that will change the immunity inside. And then what will happen? And that is why every such case, I say every such case, where there is family history or past history of autoimmune diseases. Please pay attention that whether underlying somewhere those, those signals are just remaining or not. Not name of disease pathology or stated process. State is the outcome of underlying process and process is initiated and maintained due to myosome. And these latent chronic myosomes I am pointing to four, footnote number 120 that definitely triggers the trait. State of, state, of, state of autoimmunity resembles state of latent miasm. Why latent miasm? Because latent that is dormant or slumbering, slumbering is sleeping, sleeping state. It shows similar state of health that is apparent health. So, uh, our, our uh, motto is Homeopathy for healthy living, not apparently healthy living. Please, our motto is healthy living. And if we sleep over our dormant myosomes, then patients will be free from symptoms, but the inside process, that snake is very much sleeping there, any time when there is excitation, and it can come up. 